Hi, everyone. Welcome here. I'm Micah, and I recently talked about ending your chase after worth and settling into an awareness of your unconditional value and preciousness. And in response to that video, I got a lot of questions that sounded like, is that really true? Do humans really have non-negotiable worth? Isn't that a question of perspective? I don't feel like anybody will be interested in me unless I'm accomplished and impressive. So in this video, I want to answer those questions. The perspective of human value that's independent from achievements is a choice. The value and worth of anything is always personal. If you value something, it's important to you. You cherish and appreciate it. And to live with an attitude of non-negotiable human worth is a choice. It's a choice you make if you're convinced that this is the right attitude and core belief for you. Not everyone will agree with you. Some people will insist on their definition of what makes you valuable and lovable. Based on the choice you made for yourself, that you will have your back and treat yourself with empathy. You won't allow these people's opinions to steer you away from your fundamental attitude of trusting in and supporting yourself. Some viewers might ask, but doesn't this give people a great philosophy to just do whatever they want even when it hurts others? Doesn't this mean that we can do no wrong? Not really, at least not by default. If someone is determined to live egocentrically and dismiss and disregard others' rights and needs, they'll always find a way of rationalizing it. Choosing to accept and value yourself on a fundamental level doesn't say anything about your beliefs, about how you wish to treat and value others. Valuing yourself fundamentally doesn't mean you can't value others in the same way. In fact, it'll be easier to give them the kind of fundamental appreciation that allows them to thrive if you know how to give that to yourself, what that means and feels like. Choosing to see your worth as non-negotiable means to stop thinking of yourself and treating yourself as if you were fundamentally flawed, defective, and everything you do is a mistake. Choosing non-negotiable worth means to separate your general, overarching, fundamental value and lovability from skills that you're still working on or specific mistakes you've made or will make. It means to allow yourself to live, to exist, to take up space, to have needs and take care of them. It means giving up shame and low self-esteem as an identity and developing a new perspective on yourself as someone whose identity is based on being fundamentally lovable and valuable. It means to trust yourself, to get to know yourself, to engage in a journey of self-discovery. This creates a sturdy ground to walk through life on. Yes, there'll be obstacles and things to learn. You'll make mistakes, fail, and try again. But that won't derail you to your core. You won't be so distracted emotionally and overwhelmed that you're chronically devoured by fear, shame, and self-contempt. And of course, this is a question of perspective. It's a very helpful one. It helps you to have the courage to participate in life, to give relationships, career paths, and everything else that matters a shot. And you might ask, but what if it's not true? What if I really am fundamentally defective? What if I really am unlovable and not valuable? How will it help me to pretend that I am? The thing is, the way you see yourself is always a matter of a subjective 
construction of your own reality. It's always a personal choice. There is no test to see whether or not someone is fundamentally defective or fundamentally valuable. It's a right and responsibility you have to choose how you wish to see and value yourself. You don't have to come up with this all on your own, of course. You can take inspiration from others, psychology, world philosophies, but in the end, it comes down to your own personal choice. It comes down to choosing yourself. It comes down to believing in yourself. The choice your parents may not have made for you the way good enough parents make it. To choose to love you, see you, try their best to understand you, to value you, believe in you, and support you. This is a choice you can now make for yourself on your own now that you're an adult. If your parents didn't make this choice, you may find this hard to do. Your instinct will be wired in a way to default to seeing yourself as unlovable, unvaluable, and to focusing on your supposed defectiveness and shamefulness. But that doesn't mean it's true. If for some reason in your past you've gotten the overwhelming message that something's fundamentally wrong with you and that you're not worth investing into, then that's a subjective perspective someone chose to have on you. It was never true. If you'd had different people surrounding you, they'd have made a different choice. With the same baby and the same child, it was never the baby. It was never you. It's now your turn to make this choice. Make it intentionally and in a way that will help you build the life you want. Choose to believe in yourself, to nurture yourself and value yourself. If you make this choice, you'll also start acting in ways that will further strengthen and support this view of yourself. You'll give your nervous system a break from chronic baseline anxiety, stress, and shame, and that frees up your energy to invest it into what matters to you. When you relax like this into your fundamental value and lovability, you'll start feeling a connection, resonance, with people who like you for you and not for how accomplished, impressive, or maybe even supposedly broken you are. Sure, some people will only pay attention to you if you own certain stuff, if you've achieved certain goals, or maybe pretend to be someone else for them. Do you really want these people's definition of your worth to be your definition of your worth? It's up to you what kind of life you create for yourself and who you surround yourself with. And for that to work well, it's helpful to believe in yourself, trust yourself, get to know yourself, invest time into self-discovery and building healthy attitudes. All of the things you fear may go along with choosing yourself don't have anything to do with that. Stepping out of your inner shame spiral doesn't mean that you'll be entitled, overconfident, or blame things that go wrong on everybody else. Practicing self-acceptance is actually what makes it possible to be accountable, to look at your share in your problems and your room for improvement. You'll only be able to do this completely honestly if you don't feel existentially threatened by it. If you don't feel like your mistakes will disqualify you from the right to exist with value and fundamental lovability. The best way to learn is through gentle and patient encouragement. 
not merciless rejection. It's a choice to believe that all humans are equal on an existential level and have the same rights. It's a choice to believe that you are important, that your inner world is important and valuable. It's a perspective, and some people will disagree. Some people will think that they're more important than you are. But that doesn't have to change the choice you've made not to negotiate your worth with them. For you to be able to make the choice to believe in your fundamental value and lovability doesn't require everybody on the planet to agree with that. They won't, no matter what you choose to have as core beliefs about yourself. And you don't have to convince them either. You're not obligated to prove or explain your value to anyone. Just stay firm in and connected to your point of view. To make this choice, you actually need to be willing to put up with other people's disagreement and sometimes even grief whenever you valuing yourself doesn't serve what they want. There is no way of valuing yourself and putting an end to your chase after fundamental worth if what other people think is always more important to you. If other people's thoughts and opinions are always or feel truer just because they came from the outside and not from the inside. Don't allow anyone to make you feel ashamed of your humanness or for taking up space. Don't let them think that you'll go along with everything and anything. Give yourself permission to speak up for yourself and to keep a healthy distance from people that make you feel unsure about your value and lovability. Give yourself the freedom to be yourself and stop trying to be somebody else. This is the way to happiness, to accept and nurture yourself in your growth instead of trying to become an entirely different person altogether. This means you'll give yourself the freedom to feel what you're feeling, want what you want, think what you think, see and hear what you see and hear, prioritize what is important to you instead of trying to force your feelings and priorities into something you think they should be according to somebody else. Spending life chasing after a supposedly better should self is always full of anxiety, stress, shame, emptiness, and loneliness. And with that, I've come to the end for this video. I hope that this answered some of the questions some of you had after the other video. Let me know what you think. Till next time, take care. And remember, yes, ascribing fundamental value and lovability to yourself is a subjective choice, the kindest one you can make for yourself. <laughs>